Hello and welcome to another magical readathon TBR. So, another year and we have another light fall mini readathon in December for magical readathon, as I said. I think it's from the 9th to the 17th, but I'm not sure. I'll leave it on the screen. But we have that again, as the same as last year, which um, I will leave the announcement video in the description. But basically, the readathon centers around you going to, I think it's called Lightfall, um, which is a little town near Aurelium where you can go shopping for Christmas stuff, basically. And each one of the stores has a prompt associated to it. I think you can go into the same store, aka do the same prompt multiple times. You can do whatever you want. And we also have this little point system card thing that if you get all of the little dots you get 100 points or something. So there's also that. It doesn't have to be completed this year, but it's something you can do if you want. So my December TBR is gonna be just centered around this mini readathon, even though it's just a week of the month. Those are the only books I'm gonna actually plan on reading, you know? So let's get into the prompts and what I've assigned to them. It might change later on. I don't know. Going counterclockwise. I don't know why, I just decided. The first store is Occult Premonitions, which is to read a book based on a random tarot card. And I already did the little tarot random generator, um, and I got this card, which is The Magician, which basically means you get to choose a book based on the card. So I'm going to choose a book with a magician in the book or in the title, but in my case, it's in the book, which is not helping me at all. Um, but it is a reread and it is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson because I have the semi sequel to this, which is Mysteries of Thorn Manor which I still have to read even though I got it in April and I feel like I want and need to reread this to read that mini sequel. And this is about Elizabeth who lives in this like library of grimoires which are like living books that have some are evil. And so when one of the evil books starts destroying the library and escaping, Elizabeth is blamed for that and she has to go to trial but stuff happens and a sorcerer named Nathaniel who is ch in charge of taking her to that trial or whatever it is, he helps her get out of it because she did not do it. And I loved it the first time I read it. It's one of my favorite books. So I'm really excited to reread it if it, if I actually do it. But yeah, this is book number one. The next door or whatever you want to call it is Owl Cat craft cafe, I think, which is to listen to an audiobook while doing a craft. And I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to listen to an audiobook. <laughs> so I'm skipping this prompt entirely. The next store is Shank and Shawl Legitimate Retailer. These are some tongue twister names, so if I butcher them, <laughs> it is what it is. Which is to steal a book from someone else's TBR, and since I'm filming this pretty early, I don't have any TBR to go looking for these, so I will choose these in December during the readathon. The next store is Walter's Wonderful Winter Wadimals or something like that, which is a book with snow or ice on the cover. And for that I have chosen Icebreaker by Hannah Grace because ice. And I'm really excited to give this a go because everyone who's read this loves it. It's been extremely hyped on TikTok. Um, and I'm excited to read my first ever hockey romance, so yes, that's the only thing I know about this, by the way. It's that it's hockey and I think an ice skater romance. I'm excited. The next store or prompt is Smith and Friends and Sons and something something, I don't remember, which is to read the last added book to your TBR, which I'm gonna do, but only do the ones that I actually own if that makes sense. We're going to Goodreads, we're going to want to read, and the most recent one is a manga, Wildfire, which is the sequel to Icebreaker and Murder in the Family, which are all books that I recently bought. So I guess we have to go with the actual first, which is Comey Can't Communicate, which is this book, even though the second one is actually 
the most recent, we're gonna ignore that. And this is about Komi who is so shy she can't speak and everyone thinks she's actually super mysterious except for this one guy who finds out that she's actually super shy and tries to help her talk to people. And it's super cute, I watched the anime so I'm excited to read these. Wasn't planning on reading these so soon but I'm okay with it. The next store is the Old Tales bookstore, I think, which is to read a book you've been wanting to read all year but you still haven't. And I obviously have many choices for this, but I'm gonna go with the one that I talked about before, which is the semi-sequel, which is the 1.5 sequel of Sorcery of Thorns. Um, yeah. I don't know why I put this off for so long, but I'm really excited. Hopefully it's not terrible, because <laughs> I will cry. It is very short and it's very little. It's 186 pages and it's so tiny. I'm excited anyways. I don't know what exactly goes on. I think it's after the events of Sorcery of Thorns. That's the only thing I know. And the last place you can go to in Lightfall is the Rich Pigeon Pub, which the prompt for that is to reach out to someone during December or during the readathon, um, which I can maybe do? I don't know. I could do it if I wanted to, but I I still have yet to decide, basically, during that week whether I do it or not. But these are the only four books that I'm planning on reading in December. I'm usually very stressed during December, don't know why. I just think it's just the whole Christmas stress that happens, I don't know. But I'm only putting four on my TR, they're super easy. I think I'm gonna like all of them, so I'm pretty content with this. Hopefully I read more than this, but we'll see what happens, because I don't know. That was a really fast TBR video. Uh, hopefully I actually read these and read more books, because I'm getting more books for Christmas and I want to have less than 160 at least. Preferably 150, but 160 less than that would be better. But that is everything for today, and I'll see you in my next word video. Bye!